Digital humanities is an umbrella term. It covers quite a few uh, different approaches, all using computers to explore um, literary texts, to explore art, to explore all the humanities subjects. There are things that we can do here at Pitt that aren't being done elsewhere. Um, and some of that involves some of the, what we call the hard coding work of digital humanities research. And that hard coding work is the sort of thing that actually crosses disciplinary boundaries. It allows linguists to work together with literature majors and um, helps people from the natural sciences actually connect with people in humanities. There's so much good opportunity here for us to invest in and work on. Becca Parker discovered a little-known woman journalist and whistleblower named Mel Nelson and knew that this was somebody that we needed to call attention to, that historians and students needed to know about, labor historians needed to know about her. She predates Ida Tarbell and, Up and Upton Sinclair. She's really important, but nobody has been writing about her. My interest in digital studies started with a history capstone project and I realized that there was no digital collection of the person that I was studying, Mel Nelson, and her series, The Chicago City Slave Girls. And I felt like someone needed to do that. She's lost in history completely, and the best way to do that is by putting her up on the web. And why not me be the person to do it? So, you know, I'm using digital tools to develop Nelson and building a website in order to let other people research what I'm researching. The takeaway I'd like our students to get is that they should be able to learn new methods, they should be able to work independently, and they should be able to manipulate texts, data, images on their own, and to make the best decisions that they can for whatever task they need to accomplish with a computer.